This has been a very interesting year for a lot of reasons. One, Austin is still experiencing a down housing market. And I personally would say this is very much still a buyer's market since we have so much inventory and homes are staying on the market for such a long time. Reason number two is 2024 is also an election year, which also throws a wrench into everything. Normally our housing market plateaus during an election year, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the thoughts that I have and some predictions with my crystal ball that I, I have for this summer's housing market. There's a lot of kind of weird, very nuanced, specific things that are going on. And I think it's important to be educated about these things so you can make an educated decision if and or when you are in the process of buying or selling. Uh -huh. Hi guys, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Austin, Texas, and I work with people from all over the country and all over the world who are wanting to buy or sell a home in the Austin area. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home in the Austin area, please contact me. My contact information is in the description below. You can even set up a direct one-on-one -on -one video call with me. Just follow that link in the description below. Also, if you are watching me from another part of the country and you need to buy or sell a home there, let me know. I have realtor partners all over the country who can also help. So if you need some assistance in another part of Texas or in another part of the US, reach out because I got you. I've done other videos where, where I share my thoughts for market predictions. And I think this year, especially from kind of now the summer months until the end of 2024 is gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty unique for a few reasons. One, let me begin by saying that we are of course still in a buyer's market. Interest rates all over the country are still high. They're hovering right around six and a half to 7%. Two, in Texas or in Austin more specifically, we have some of the highest property taxes in the country. Three, we also have some of the most expensive home prices in Texas. Of course, there are other smaller towns throughout Texas that are very, very pricey, but generally speaking, Austin's average price is higher than the rest of Texas. Four, this is an election year. And I have been licensed in Austin as a realtor since 2012. In every election year, we see that there's a big standstill in the market. And th I think this is due to the fact that people just don't always know what direction the government's gonna go, so they like to hold until they have a better idea. I think this year it is definitely a toss up. It could go one way or another. There's also a war going on and inflation is still higher than they wanted it to be by now. So it's it's a very weird time. So if we get down into the more nitty gritty, what I'm seeing in our housing market today in Austin in general is one, we have an all time high inventory. Y'all this number, I actually just looked it up now and I my jaw hit the floor. I was like, what the f so let me, let me start by saying that usually in our housing market here in Austin, we'll have about 5,000, maybe 6,500 homes for sale all at once, kind of in this like central Texas section that we live in. That's, I would say from like Liberty Hills, Crystal Falls area, which is one of our Northern suburbs, all the way down to kind of the San Marcos area before getting to San Antonio. That's what we, me, I consider to be central Texas. Usually we have anywhere from 5,000 to about 6,500 homes. That's kind of like a norm for us. In 2021 and part of 2022, we had an all time low. At one point, I remember we had just over 1,500 homes. That's 1,500 and it was 85 homes on the market in one particular day. I just looked it up and today we have 15,338 homes on the market in that same central Texas pocket. That is literally 10 times what we had in 2021 and 2022. So why am I telling you all this? Because this shows that one, there's a lot more competition if you are a home seller. And two, it shows that homes are just sitting on the market. There's been multiple occasions where I will be out with a client looking at homes and the home that we look at has been on the market for like four or five months. It's not that there's anything necessarily wrong with the home we're looking at. It's just that there's a million other homes that buyers can choose from, or to be more specific, 15,338 other homes that they can choose. That coupled with the fact that we are in the summer months now and it's really hot and people are traveling, interest rates are still high and honestly, home prices are still pretty high. To be completely transparent with you guys, I am a bit surprised that we have this much inventory. Had you asked me in January when there were like 10 to 12,000 homes on the market, if there was gonna be an influx of inventory this summer, I would have said, no way, it's not possible. And uh, I, I would have been wrong and I'm okay with that because that's why we look at information and numbers so that we can educate ourselves and 
have a change of opinion and change of outlook if that's what is needed. So what I think is going to happen this summer, or I guess part of my hope is that maybe the the amount of inventory is going to hold. I suppose inventory could also go up regardless though of which one ends up happening. I do believe that buyers are gonna have even more negotiating power and they're going to be able to get better deals than they would have last year, for instance. I've always said that the best time to get a deal if you're looking to buy a home is from July to like early September because that is when, number one, the kids are out of school it's super hot and because of both of those reasons people are out traveling also because of the weather so many people just don't want to move the heat that we have in texas is just it's overpowering and it is kind of crippling so people don't want to move during the summer the second best time to get a deal in austin is early november to the first week of january obviously during the holidays nobody really wants to be moving so if a seller has their home on the market it's because they have to sell and buyers are usually able to get a much better deal that way I know there's been some talk by the Fed saying that they might drop interest rates, they might not drop interest rates. I just don't see that happening simply because our inflation is still higher than they want it to be. I know our inflation rates are hovering at around like three to about 3.5% every month. I believe the Fed needed our national inflation rate to be closer to two, two and a half percent before they would bring down interest rates. And we're just not there yet. I guess one, one thing, kind of a wild card play that the Fed could make in order to raise morale around our economy is suddenly drop interest rates. I just, mm, I don't really see that happening either because they announced towards the beginning of the year that they might be coming down by this summer and we really don't have signs of that or not anything significant anyway. So I wouldn't count on that. If you are a home buyer and you're expecting interest rates to come down this year, they might, but maybe by like a quarter of a percent, half a percent at max, we're not we're not gonna see anything that's gonna be in the four or 5% range. And I can, I can tell you that almost with certainty without pretending to predict. Here's my crystal ball. I am curious to see what you guys think or what you guys predict might be happening with our housing market in Austin this summer. Leave a comment in the comment section. Please keep it respectful. I'm way more likely to respond to your comment if it is respectful, educated, and well thought out. You know who you are. Anyway, that is my high level overview of what I think is going to happen with our housing market this summer. Remember that if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Austin, you guys can always contact me. My contact information is in the description below. Also, if you are joining us from another part of the country or in a different state, different city in Texas even, and you need to buy or sell a home, I've got realtor partners all over the US, so please feel free to reach out. I can hook you up with somebody that's absolutely awesome and will do a killer job. So there, that is what I've got for you guys today. I am Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor. Till next time.